we are making a Morse telegraph. Telegraph is a device that is used to transmit long distance messages. In the first half of the 19th century, Samuel Morse proved that messages can be transmitted by wire. He invented Morse code. Morse code is a method of transmitting text messages using a series of dots and dashes. This code was the most popular method of communication for over 150 years. Though nowadays it is an outdated method of communication, it is still used by amateur radio operators and in aeronautical navigational aids, but compared to voice, Morse code is less sensitive to poor signal conditions. We have a simple box. On top of it, you can see the telegraph key, the power source, the sound signal or the buzzer, and the light signal. Here is how the signal is transmitted. Dots are transmitted like so, and the dashes like so. Here we see the parts that we'll use in assembly. The power source or the battery, the telegraph key, parts for the base, the sound and the light signals, and the code itself. We'll attach it to the base. We will begin by making the box. Take this piece and fold the sides along the scored lines. And from underneath we'll place those connecting pieces. To do this we will remove the adhesive backing. and put the box's side piece in, like so. In order to attach the side at the right angle, we can put the box vertically. We will repeat the same on this side of the box. Again, remove the adhesive backing the box vertically in order to insert the side of the box at a right angle. Check if the sides are straight. Using pre-drilled holes on the base as our guide, we will puncture holes in the box's sides that we've just attached. All eight. Now insert the clips and all of the eight holes. The box is now ready. On the top of the box we have several pre-drilled holes. We will begin with the first contact. Take the paper fastener with an attached wire. Insert it like so and on the other side of the box, bend the legs of the fastener so the contact doesn't pop out. The second step is to attach our telegraph key. It is easy to do. Remove the adhesive backing and insert the fasteners into the pre-drilled holes. Press down. You can do the same and bend the fastener's legs. Now in these holes from underneath we must insert two contacts. Later we'll use this part to connect an identical telegraph device using a wire. By doing so we will establish communication between the two telegraphs. These are the contacts on the other telegraph. Now on the left upper corner we'll attach a battery. Again, remove the adhesive backing and glue it onto the box. Don't forget to press firmly. Now we will attach the light sound signal. Remove the adhesive backing and glue it onto the box. In order 
to further secure the signal onto the box, we will make a small hole in it and place one clip. It is time to attach the Morse code itself. Peel off the backing and glue it in the center of the box. Now we can begin connecting the wires. First we will attach this wire to the plus contact on the battery. A plus contact is always indicated by a red or pink color. Because the wire is slightly long, we can shorten it by making it into a spiral, just like so. Stretch it a little and attach the wire to the plus contact. Remove the bead and insert the naked wire tip between the legs of the contact. Wrap the end around, put the bead back on and bend the longer leg. Now we are going to connect the key contact with the plus contact on the signal block. Again, we can make the wire shorter by wrapping it around a pencil or a tube, just like making a spring. The signal block also has a plus and minus contacts. The minus contacts are indicated by any color other than red. Here it is blue or green. Stretch the wire, remove the light signal, Remove the bead and insert the exposed end of the wire between the legs of the plus contact. Place the bead back on and bend the longer leg. Now put the light signal back in. This side is now finished. Now we have to connect this plus wire to the contact closest to the key. This will become the contact that is going to be connected to the other apparatus. Again, make a spiral. Stretch it and insert this wire between the legs of this contact. Wrap the tip of the wire around and place one bead. Here is what it's going to look like. Lastly, we will connect the wire of the signal block with the minus contact of the battery. Remove the bead, insert the exposed portion of the wire between the legs, put the bead back on and bend the longer leg. Make sure the tip of this wire is secured in this last contact. Insert it between the legs of the fastener Wrap it around and place a blue bead over to indicate the minus contact. This way we created plus and minus for the existing wires. Now we can test our telegraph. In order to establish communication with another person in another room, we will use the same identical apparatus. It also has the same contacts to connect the two devices. They are connected by the way of communication line, which is a long wire with two contacts on each end, plus and minus. Blue to blue and red to red. Same here, red to red and blue to blue. This way, when we press the telegraph key on this apparatus, the signal travels along the wires and the other apparatus starts working. The receiver now can decode the message. 